Welcome, in front of me is a Nokia G50 and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification on this device. Now obviously you can see that the phone right here is locked and I can unlock it or verify it using previously used pattern or using the Google account. And obviously you can also see this lock right here that basically proves that the device is locked. So anyway, to get started with the bypass, we'll want to back out to the Wi-Fi connection page right over here. And uh, you can be connected to network or not, it really doesn't matter. So what you want to do right now is uh, select uh, see all Wi-Fi networks, scroll down and select add a network. And this will bring up your keyboard with a microphone option. So you want to tap on that microphone and then select deny. Gonna repeat that once more. Again, select deny. And as you can see, it changed from being like fully black to being uh, just an outline now. Click on it again and choose allow. And this opens up apps and notifications. So in here, we're gonna go into permissions. And then right at the top, we have the search icon. You're gonna search for settings. Like so. It's actually, okay. So at the bottom, I believe at the very bottom, yep the end of the list you will have three different things that have settings you are interested in this one the just the settings uh, with that icon as you can see and I click on it select open and this obviously opens up your settings and in here we're now gonna go to apps and notifications there we go you're gonna select app info tap on the three dots select show system and you're looking right now for Android setup, which should be somewhere at the top. So as you can see, there's two of them. So we're going to start off with the first one, Android setup. We're going to select disable, disable app, force stop, and OK. And we're going to go back and select the second one. And again, we're going to select force stop and OK. So once you have disabled both of those, we're going to now back out the app. Uh, uh, apps right here and we're gonna scroll down to Google Play services oh, I'm a little bit too too far there we go Google Play services right over here click on it disable disable app and for stop so as you can see we have disabled three different things uh, two different setups and one Google Play services and what you want to do right now as we as back out select let's go skip nope we're gonna go back there we go so we want the wi-fi connection and in here you're gonna sele select setup offline select continue and simply finish up the setup i'll be skipping adding any kind of protection right now because it really doesn't matter skip anyway continue no thanks not now and once you have access access to your home screen you want to now navigate to your settings scroll down to system and then select reset options and erase all data factor reset so this does remove as you can see your google accounts uh, system apps and the data settings and basically those are the two important ones now even though technically we didn't log into any google account uh, the google account that was uh, preventing us the FRP locked one that we needed to verify is still on this device along with the pattern that was used. So to remove it, you just want to select erase all data, which removes those as well when it's done through settings, obviously. Uh, now, I'm not going to go through this on video because performing this honestly will not give you any additional information. It's just a factory reset of the device. Once it's complete, you are back in the setup screen, at which point you can set up your device however you like. So, like I'm saying, it provides with no, you provides you with no additional content or information. You can set up your device however you like from there. So yeah, I click on it and basically you're done with the bypass. 
So that being said, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.